like it. Frames full of membranes. Tell me. Huh? Was that behind the scenes? Oh, oh here we go. It's okay, I'm rich. All right, guys, today we're going to go over the SRO and the 509T. We're going to tell you which one I choose and why, and which one would probably be better for your needs, depending on what you're doing. So this video series on optics, why and why not, is going to get dynamic as fuck. Well. All right, let's go. First, we're going to start with the uh, Trigicon SRO. This one is the SRO 02, 2.5 MOA. Um, kind of kicked its way into the market a few years back. Uh, it's the largest field of view, by the way, for all you Nancy's out there. She's safe. That's how we do. Okay. So, largest field of view. Woo! Can you see that? Unobstructed. Easy adjustable windage. Just like the armor, windage and elevation. You can adjust the illumination on the fly. Brighter dot, lower dot, daytime, nighttime. Uh, it has a lockout mode. Uh, it's a red dot, of course. Um, and it's a pretty badass optic. Uh, there was some um, issues with it early on, meaning people were saying they were breaking a lot uh, because it's more of a competition-based optic. Uh, big windows, big field of view, but if you drop it or knock it, it's going to break. Um, I've personally watched an employee accidentally skip one of these on a 19X about 30 feet across concrete, concrete floors, and it didn't break or throw off the zero. Um, so I have no personal knowledge of these breaking like that. And yes, that was my specific optic. He was testing out a holster. Um, and uh, it ended up testing out the durability of the optic. All right. Here we have the Hollow Sun 509T on our actual plate. Again, no ammo in the mag, in the gun. I just have it in there just for fun and quick way to tell them apart. Um, so the guns are pretty much the same platform. Uh, the only difference, they even have the similar, no, this is the uh, factory plate. This is uh, our plate, again, with the rear sight included. Um, but this is the 509T, and let's go over that. I gotta pull up the 509T now. The 509T is the two MOA dot. Uh, it also features the, I'm definitely not cheating, the reticle circle of a 32 MOA. It's also claimed to be parallax free, unlimited eye relief, times one magnification, and has a solar power. 
to uh, help the battery last. A battery is side mounted, which I forgot to mention on the SRO, it comes from the top. You don't have to dismount the optics, which is something I like on both. And um, all around pretty uh, robust, self-enclosed, self-containing optic, meaning you can't mess with the reticle in there unless you did some serious, serious damage. So uh, let's get into it, why and why not, okay? All right, so now that I got the specs out of the way. The <laughs> T for me um, is a pretty badass optic. Uh, now luckily being in the industry for as long as I have been, um, I've got to shoot a wide variety of everything with the exception of SIGs. I don't shoot too many SIG optics. Um, I should probably hit up uh, Mike, or as you guys probably know, Knockout Lights, and we can go do some reviews on uh, SIG office and compare the more popular ones um, and see just for compression. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I digress. Back to the 519. Um, I like how everything's self-contained. Uh, I like the solar power option on the optic. I definitely love, and I think uh, Trojan Hollow Sun uh, is very wise to put these as a side release battery. So the chance of losing zero or uh, you know having to replace it, take it off, and mess with all your Loctite and your mounting plates, or even direct, or all this nonsense uh, when you can just design the battery to come out from the side was very very wise. Uh, it has these large buttons. Side, so that we can press them and adjust the brightness uh, or decrease the brightness. Um, I run it with just a dot. Uh, I don't do the circle dot with the four, the four positioning uh, or just a circle. Um, I run it with a dot because that's kind of what I've been used to with uh, when I uh, started shooting with all the trigger pumps. Um, I don't like a busy, a busy optic which is something uh, in this setting and the Trigicon sharing common. Bigger windows, uh, obviously the bigger window going to Trigicon, but bigger windows and um, very clean, crisp tops. Uh, again, I like this one, especially on the staccato for when I'm shooting. Uh, I almost don't even have to wait for, depending on my distances, of course, but if I'm shooting steel, it, 10 to 25 yards, um, you know, I can actually just wait for the window. I can almost look at it like a TV, and as long as it's in the box, I can shoot. Um, now, again, that's not me pushing for accuracy. It's more pushing for speed. But if you know your gun and you know your how it runs, if, you know, point of aim, point of impact, and your zero, then you can start to cheat off that a little bit, kind of like point shooting, or maybe even if the, the dot was off itself. Um, so I definitely like that feature on this, and let's be honest, this platform, uh, the recoil management is almost non-existent. I mean, this, this gun is heavy and it runs, and it, it shoots super flat, so it's easy to, to get back on target. Um, but yeah can't really go wrong on this. Uh, we even run it on our 1301, which uh, we'll put up right here in a quick little picture. Boop. Let's go over the SRO. Again, biggest window in the industry as far as I know of. Um, this optic is a beat. It's super clear. Probably one of the clearest. Um, it makes it easier to shoot and enjoy. But again, um, I personally haven't had the issue, but supposedly they break. Uh, there is a company that out here that makes a, uh, a cover for it. Um, they go by the name of Jagerworx or Jaggerworks if you're ignorant and don't know how to read German lettering or wording. I don't know. Either way, uh, they make the bro. It's like a bra for your optic. You know, like a car. Was that was that called the bra? That leather strap they used to put on front of the cars in the nineties. They sure did. No, hey. Oh, the, the in the in the nineties, that was called the bra, right? That leather. The bra. Yeah. yeah. So that's what that is. It's the bra. 
for optics. It's not on here. But much like when you're home alone, you can picture it on or off. So. What? Yeah, optic condo. For protection. Optic. Well, no, that that's nature. This one was enhanced. Well, it's like lambskin. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that was a rant. Um, now, some of the benefits of the comparison between the two. Both are bigger optics. Both are um, almost the same. I think there's a 2.5 MOA. That's a 2 MOA on the way I run it. Um, they're both going to be quick, fast optics if you train with them. Um, getting that dot on target and transitioning because of the clarity and window size are both going to be great. Uh, the issue you'll start to have with this one is if you're in any kind of dynamic environment. Go ahead and uh, tie in Travis Haley here saying some really cool big words. Um, but if you're in any kind of dynamic environment where it's raining, snowing, it's exposed carry, you're using this for law enforcement, military applications, um, you're really going to, you can't let anything get in here because it's laser emitted. So, I mean, the laser's back here and it's shooting up here. It's projecting it onto the screen, if you will, or admitting. Um, so, if you throw some water in here, it's going to crystallize. It's going to fog up. It's going to have any kind of issue. I mean, if you get enough water in here, the battery may not hold its seal. Um, but that can be said with either one. But this has some compromise to it based on its overall shape and how it's configured with the laser uh, being emitted onto the glass. And again, they're known to break, but I've never broken one. And again, we've chucked it across the shop on accident. Um, whereas if you go to the 509T, it's self-contained. You can't ever touch any of the internals. It, it's not gonna fog up on you. Um, I would imagine it's more waterproof, more robust, the battery life, they're both going to be comparable. Uh, you have the solar power for backup, you can take this battery out with ease. Um, I believe we've replaced it once or twice and I don't even think we had to re-zero. Uh, so for more of a exposed carry, home protection, ruggedized optic, uh, you might want to consider the 509T. That's kind of what I've switched over to on a lot of my uh, a lot of my firearms. You know, I think we're making a 509T everything shirt. Uh, Justin could never get his head out of his ass. That's our in-house uh, merch guy. Carol, merch. What's the new thing to say? It's definitely not swag anymore, right? So what do we say, merch? Swag. Nah. They're gonna know I just turned 37 on Monday. Just ask your mom, she was over. Making me cookies and milk. Telling me I'm special. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I personally would probably grab a 509T um, first and I would run it. Um, I don't, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know the night vision configuration, but if I was running night vision, um, I have a little vampire on here now. I would probably do it this way, and I'm only pulling this if I need to, or um, I totally, sorry, would do that, or I would uh, put a laser on it and then zero it that way. That would be the only time I would actually probably use a laser on a handgun as well. Um, but I believe you still can pick it up. You can at least still pick up the dot through the nods and run it. Um, SRO, if I was to build a competition gun, a range gun, um, even a home defense gun, maybe. Um, I think this would be a good option. But to be fair, the price comparison can't be ignored. This is a $600 optic. This on its best day is a $400 optic. 
Um, so for the price of this whole system, you could get a full slide and, uh, and the optic cut pretty much, um, at least with us, or at least the optic cut and the optic and suppressor sites. So, uh, you know, you can't ignore the financial uh, perks, but again, the SRO is a flex. They're harder to get. Um, everybody wants one. But to be honest with you, a lot of nomenclature and a lot of things about the optics, you'll see a lot of reviews, but I don't think you see comparisons um, to each one, like what we'll be doing in this series. We're going to be diving deep um, because they don't, I'm sure most people have access to them, but most people don't own every single one. Most people don't shoot every single one. Uh, Stop saying, uh, I know that. Most don't take the time to compare. They only heard what's the best or, um, God damn it. What I'm seeing currently right now is a lot of people asking for the new hollow suns, the EPS and the SCS, when they don't necessarily need them. Now, the EPS, my boy from hollow sun hasn't sent me one yet. can't make cool videos on YouTube. Help me. Help me, Daniel Sosa. You're my only hope. Put in like a Darth Vader breathing heavy. Yeah, like he has asthma like me. <laughs> oh. So the EPS is dope. The SCS is also dope. But you need to know why and how. So we'll go over that in a later video. Uh, but it's something I really want to cover. So bang for buck, I would go towards the... Uh, 509T, probably nine times out of ten, unless again I'm specifically building something that I don't need to worry about um, all the cost. That's just me. This has been uh, Dynamic Optics. Go ahead. We're almost to a thousand followers. We're at like 950 as of right now. Maybe 951, 952. But comment, like, Share, let us know if you like the videos, let us know what you'd like to see. Ring the bell notifications so you can actually see when these come uh, back on YouTube. We're gonna be doing videos a lot more regularly. Uh, I think that's it. Remember, th every thousand followers, we're doing a giveaway. Uh, yes, in case of you are just coming in, we did lose our page with about 99,000 followers. We're working to get it back. They said we did a uh, illegal sales when we don't even sell things so it's a little weird um but go ahead and follow dynamic underscore weapon underscore solutions for now until we get it back and we plan on getting it back uh winter and fall are coming so pumpkin spice everything but that's pretty much it um see you at the next one Mm-hmm.